So now PhotoSpring has finished booting up and we're going to see this welcome screen uh, for the first time that we turn on PhotoSpring to uh, let us do the initial setup. I'm going to tap the screen and I'm going to come to my choose a Wi-Fi network screen. Um, on this screen um, is going to be a list of all the Wi-Fi networks that are available to me. I'm going to pick the Wi-Fi router that I'm going to use and of course you're going to pick the Wi-Fi router that you use in your home or office. Um, now it's going to ask for the Wi-Fi password. So if I need help with this, I'll click on show password here. And then as I type in my password, I will be able to see the text of what I'm typing to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. Now if you don't do that, uh, you'll just see a hidden password like you're used to seeing. So once I have the password in there, I'm going to click on connect. And it's going to go ahead and take me to the next screen. Uh, where I show a blue dot here, and then this blue dot tells me that my Wi-Fi is connected, and I'm going to click on Next. Now uh, I see the Terms of Service, I go through and read the Terms of Service, and then um, once everything is okay, click on I agree, and then click on Continue. And then now it's going to start the downloading for your PhotoSpring. What it's going to do is it's going to download the most recent version of PhotoSpring, so that uh, once you get set up, you're going to be sure that you have the most recent version that's available. Okay, now that this is almost done, uh, you're going to see that it's going to show you an installing screen. And what that's doing is it's installing the software that it just downloaded.